this is rotational motion and this is circular motion in today's video we are going to discuss about the distinction between rotational motion and circular motion in circular motion the particle revolves around the circumference of the circle and in case of rotational motion the object has its motion around a fixed axis the object rotates about the given point somewhere on the given axis the wheels of bicycle perform two types of motion one is rotational motion and second one translational motion the wheel is rotating about a fixed line and this fixed line is nothing but called axis of rotation so this is axis of rotation this is axis of rotation the different particles present on the wheel they perform circular motion even though wheel is performing rotational motion the different particles present on the wheel they perform circular motion the radii of different particles varies from point to point here we observe that as the bicycle wheel or any disc rotating about a given axis then the particles present on the disc or any rotating body they perform circular motion every particle present on the rotating body perform circular motion with concentric circles with different radii they move with the same angular speed but their linear speed are different here a disc and the axis of rotation is shown in this diagram axis of rotation passing through the center and perpendicular to plane of the disc axis of rotation always not pass through the center of mass or the center of the body it can pass through any point like in this diagram the axis of rotation is along the diameter of the disc and in this diagram the tangent is acting as axis of rotation thus axis of rotation can change depending upon the need and the application but in circular motion the particle always moves from the circumference of the circle in rotational motion the distance between center of mass and axis of rotation may change but in case of circular motion the distance between moving object and center of mass does not change this is what the basic difference between circular motion and rotational motion how did you find this video please let me know and write your comments in the comment box before saying goodbye to you i would like to request you like share and subscribe the channel meet you again with another topic till then wish you good luck all the best